Hello everybody, welcome back to Storm Chasers once again. As you can see, we are in the beta of version 0.9.0 before. And uh, if you want to check out this version, it is now available. I will have the Discord linked in the description below and you can go grab the beta code from there. Well, it's a rainy day out here and it's nine in the morning, ready to get our chase going. I'm at a different house because we have an upstairs here. I'm not used to that. Whoa, hello. Let's get on the old laptop, shall we? We get a reflectivity radar. We'll get a wind gauge. We'll get a couple probes. We'll upgrade that. We'll upgrade this and buy a battery and the rest of the money can go into here. I started with $10,000 just because we're showcasing everything. Beautiful. That should be more than enough to get our chase day going. Walking outside, you can see we're in Wakota actually, and uh, I did finally level up and we have the police truck unlocked. And yes, you can turn on the lights, uh, but don't expect any kind of like ELS out of it or anything like that. Let's fire this thing up and check it out. We already have a storm starting to fire near Wakota and it's going to be going south. So we don't have any time to uh, kind of waste here as we're going to make a right hand turn out of Wakota right here to the right actually and that is the cell we're looking at it's got a beautiful looking hail core on it already and might go tornado warn before you know it and just like we talked about right there there it is we are tornado warned east of our position so let's head this way and talk a little bit more about the game new things in the change log is there's been added destruction physics in the quality settings um the UI navigation with controller has been fixed and then there's uh house repairing that's been fixed uh, the spare tire that was not available in the shop is now available. Uh, players able to exit the map zone and missions has been fixed because we do have missions. We can go into the new ones uh, soon enough. Fixed blackout screen effect remaining if the tornado ropes out while you're in it and added some of the best screenshots for loading screens. Pretty darn cool. Okay, I see what looks like a hail core on the left there. That looks like a large tornado on the ground just to our left and it is currently moving directly south and should cross the main road here before too long right there you can see the cone on that tornado right there so let's uh let's try to get in front of this thing and just as i get down here it just roped out man dang we were very close i should have just got out and uh went ahead and got a picture of it but it might recycle we'll see so all you have to do is hit the p key and check it out we have a working light bar on top it's like i said not els or anything like that but hey at least we have that option uh compared to other vehicles. All right, so this storm that is just north of Corwin is starting to intensify a little bit more. So I might shoot south here and get in the path of it in case it does drop down a tornado. Uh, I will also be showing you the SUV. So not just the police truck here today. I want I wanted to show that to you as well, but the SUV and uh, that it has a probe attached to the vehicle. So you have to get close to the tornadoes to get the data. You can see this thing's putting out quite a bit of precipitation, but it's not even severe warned yet. Um, and I can't see any of the storm structure from this view, but we're gonna make a right hand turn up here and we'll uh, see if we can see something better. I will be playing the other tornado game as well. Uh, that developer, Sam, has been putting a lot of work into the Steam Workshop uh, modding capabilities of the game and some other cool things that are in the works. So we'll be showcasing that as it comes down the line as well. Scanning the skies here and we got something happening here. It might be right here actually. We might have a tornado warning on this storm. It was starting to wrap up a little bit. and was looking pretty darn good. Let's have a look and see what they say. Uh, unless it's another storm, the but National I don't think Weather so. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for Corwin County. All right, we Take are tornado now. warned. Move into an Beautiful. Room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid I was looking in this direction for the actual funnel, but I don't see it. It might be rain wrapped or behind there. So to get a better view, we might have to go to the bear's cage on this one. All right, we got a tornado warning now showing just to the east of us here. So I'm actually going to take this road. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to turn around here. I think that's going to be our best bet as that uh, is completely going to be behind that hail core. We're just about, get, about to get dumped on, by the way. Uh, but we can get on the road and get in front of this thing. We should probably be able to put a a probe in front of it if it's not crossing the road already i don't see it just yet and i think we see the funnel and the tornado it's right in front of us it just crossed the road right in front of us here we're gonna be kind of in a bad spot here but that's okay we'll get a picture of it yeah it just i mean it popped up out of nowhere man look at that thing looks beautiful we're too far away from the twister really okay well unfortunately it's gonna be going into that field there so there's not really a whole lot of data we can get out of this thing but we can get pictures on it for sure 
All right, we got wind speeds looking pretty uh, gnarly right there. And there is that beautiful tornado that just popped up. Are we too far away from the twister? We're right on top of the dang thing. What are you talking about? All right, we're gonna go to the east and then we're gonna go south in case the wind does change on us. We'll be able to get on this road and we'll have a better view of the tornado actually, because it's right there. So got eyes on the tornado right there in that, that field actually. And uh, the winds are still just showing straight south. I wish we had another option on this map to go to the west. That would be pretty cool if that were the, the case, but it's not. So we'll just try to do the best we can here. There's the tornado right there. But yeah, you can see it's pretty much wrapped up in that precipitation there. Really hard to see it from here. Yeah, we're getting some better pictures now. And uh, it is just moving south at a pretty good speed. All right, I think we have another tornado warning that just uh, went out. Let's have a look and see at the map what that might be. It's this storm right here, I think, or maybe even further north. We got a multicellular structure happening here, and uh, it's looking pretty promising if we go north. So I think we might do that since this thing's currently kind of off the uh, off the charts. All right, we got a funnel on the left there. It's not tornado warned yet, but it's going now to the northwest. So that other tornado we were on could be what will cross the road, and we could probably get a probe in it if it's still on the ground. Now that northern one. It's gonna be harder for us to get to in time. So we're kind of just taking the daylight as we have it here. And now it's going Northwest, which is pretty interesting. I have to make a decision here if I wanna go North or I wanna go the other way. Oh, that thing is tornado warned and it's got a better hail core on it. I think we're just gonna go North. All right, there's the tornado right there in front of us. We need to get right in front of this thing. And look at that track. It's pushing even more to the East than North right now, but it's kind of matching our truck, which is scary. Yep, you can hear the roar of that thing. I think right here might be a good deployment spot. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Yep, let's get out. There, it, look at that monster. Yeah, it is getting stronger too. Okay, let's grab one of these, put it down. That thing is coming right for us here. I'm gonna kind of do a U-turn and we're gonna put another one in the road if we can. So let's turn around right now, this direction. And we're gonna bail to this direction here. A little bit further to the west. This is gonna be it right here. Come on, get out. We gotta be quick about this one. Can't mess around. Put the probe down. It's gonna cross the road maybe right where we are. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it, punch it, punch it, Chewy. All right, it's kind of died off a little bit. No, it's gonna cross the road right here in front of us. If we don't watch out. Okay, there we go. Let's get a little bit more to the west. This thing is turning. Had a little bit more, more of a north turn to it. This is going to be fine right here. We can get out and look at it as it's going to cross the road. Look at that monster. Woo! That looks awesome, man. Listen to the roar of that bad boy. <laughs> we have to be careful here, too, because like I said, uh, this thing has been really wild as far as storm motion goes. Although it looks like it's going a little bit more north. It might actually hit our probes. It's starting to cross the road right here where our probes are located. We still have one more in the back of the truck, but hey, I'm not gonna be too upset about that. It was kind of hard to pick where this thing was gonna go. Now it's moving a little bit more towards our probes, so that's good. We should get some good data out of this thing. We should, we should. It's gonna cross the road right here. We might get some debris. Still a north track on it right now. Look at the debris cloud on this thing. Whoa, dude. That's a mean tornado right there. That is so cool though. That is so neat. We gonna get a power flash or anything out of this thing? Doesn't look like it. We got some good probe data there though. Nothing in the hundreds, that's what I was hoping for. And it did not damage anything there. Let's watch our back here. Make sure another tornado's not bearing down on us or something like that. And there is the, uh, yeah, we're right here off the uh, RFD right now. There's another tornado to the north. Still getting probe data here. Just making sure this thing isn't gonna turn south on us, you know? It's got quite a bit of power underneath it there. 100 something mile an hour wind force we just saw there. Okay, let's get out here. Let's grab our probe. Look at that thing. Woo! <laughs> yeah! That thing is looking pretty darn good right now. It's probably like an EF2 
based on the fact that it didn't do a whole lot of damage to the power lines right here. But we can get in front of this thing again. It is close enough for that. If it doesn't turn south on us, that's the only thing. And you got to watch your back on this thing. So another thing that Little Cloud did was uh, make the tornadoes a little bit more uh, visible than they were in the prior one. You realize that it was kind of uh, translucent, uh, which is realistic in some tornadoes. But man, once it picks up dirt like that, it's uh, definitely not transparent. All right, this tornado is pretty much going due north of us right now. North, northeast. Now it's kind of turning to the west. It's really not sure where it wants to go. Northeast now, that's what I like to see. So we kind of want to track alongside of it here before we uh, deploy again. But we do have a exit strategy just north of this if we uh, get run down by this tornado. So let's see what we have here. Let's get out and look at it. Just look at it. 43, nice, good pictures. Yeah, and we're looking for the bottom there to see the motion of this thing. If it's not going right or left, it means it's coming right at us. And that's what, we, oh, it just made a violent turn. Ju it might be roping out actually. Is that roping out? No, it made a turn, it made a turn. Let's back up. Turn around, we're gonna have to have a south option here now. No, now it's coming right at us. It's coming right at us right now. Okay, we're gonna escape to the south on this one. Put it down. That thing is coming right for us. I'm gonna maximize everything I can out of this if I can get away from here. That would be ideal. Come on, dude, I'm, not, I'm gonna die if I don't mess around. Oh, dude, look at the motion on that thing. It's turning. It's real close. It's real close. Let's get in, let's go, let's go, 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 go. I'm bailing to the south. I could not get my probe, my last probe out in time. So we'll just take what we can off of that. Okay, it's going north, northeast, so we can turn around. We're gonna be in the hail core right now. Boy, at night, this is pretty crazy. Yeah, there it is right there. Right in front of us, actually. Let's get out and look. There's the tornado right there. And our probes are right there. So I don't know if it's gonna cross the road or not. Really hard to say right now. We got our XP there and we are now almost to level 17. Still getting probe data right now. So that thing is just, I mean, I can see it right there, but it's uh, just hanging out next to those probes. Now it's turned, which might work out in our favor. It's turned towards the probes completely. It looks like it might actually cross the road there right on our probes. I mean, that would be amazing if it does. But this thing's been very unpredictable. Kind of looks like it's turning south a little bit more than east. Which is good because it's just kind of hovering around those. That thing is about to hit them. We have debris on the ground. So that is indeed a EF2 tornado. And that's what we were talking about earlier. I think it hit our probes. I think it's hitting them directly. We'll see if we get data in the hundreds here. Yeah, this is a long track tornado. This has been pretty insane, actually. I have to change my battery out in a second. But yeah, it's pushing off to the south so we can get our uh, probes. It's watching to make sure this thing doesn't turn on us. And I think it just died. I'm pretty sure it's just roped out or it's completely covered in that rain right now. Because I do hear it. But I think it's pretty much done for, for the most part. So that's our first chase with this truck. The police truck. Uh, I really enjoyed it. You see the new lighting uh, to work right there. Out in the distance. It makes the ground wet after the rain has passed. But yeah, that tornado is done for, man. That was it. What a wild chase that was. And we got some data. Looking at the inventory, we've got upload for the photos here at $711. Uh, we made $1,667 off of that tornado, so that wasn't too bad. We will take it. Uh, and somebody asked me last time how you change the batteries out. You just click on them. It'll remove the battery, and then you put a new one in like this and it installs it, so that's how you do it. So going to customize, we go to vehicle here and model, we can go over to the SUV. We have a police SUV now, pretty cool if we want that, but I'm just gonna go normal on that one, apply the changes to it, uh, and we'll get started. All right, let's start off by going to the shop, get a reflectivity radar, wind gauge. You can only get one probe on this vehicle, and I'll show you why in a second. Definitely upgrade that when we can, maybe buy a battery when we can, but I'm starting off with $1,000 this time to make it more difficult for us. All right, we have the Baron Necessities, but check it out. We have a probe attached to the back of the SUV. Pretty cool. So that's the gas station in downtown Wakota. And check it out. There's a new shop across the street from it that has this antenna on it. And uh, you can uh, either buy yourself a med kit 
or you can convert your uh, XP for money if you want. But that is something that was new. One nice thing about the SUV is that it not only has more acceleration than the truck does, I'll show you in a straight line here, but it has a higher top speed. So it will get up to speed a lot quicker uh, and it does 10 miles an hour faster than the truck does. So that's helpful in sticky situations. But we got a good storm looking here uh, to our south. We just need to kind of sit here at the crossroads and see what it does. We have some precip and we've got lightning like crazy right now. If this thing's gonna produce, it's gonna produce right down the road from us, it looks like. So we might go a little further, but I'm looking at this cell here and this one looks pretty promising. That hail core just to our east. Now the storm motion is kind of changing around a little bit to the northwest, but now it's just pretty much west. So if it does drop a tornado, we're in a perfect spot for it. It'll happen right just to the east of here. We got a funnel just above us right here. I'm keeping an eye on it. It might come down in a second. Check that thing out right there. That's what I'm watching. We had a lowering that was, was occurring and uh, looks like it, we have a tornado on the ground right here, just in front of us, just in front. So let's go ahead and keep an eye on that storm motion. It's going directly to the west. I'm going to get my car just in position here to get some data off of it. Although it might be shy and it might have just died. Um, Where did it go? Yeah, I think it just went back up. I think it was right there. Wow, that was a brief tornado, but we know the storm is not messing around. We have another one to our north. Let's keep an eye on things here. Man, look at the hail core on this one here that's going towards Corwin. Corwin might be our better shot. Um, it looks like the storm is regenerating to the west, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna be doing what is called core punching. Not sure if this hail core has moved all the way to the west just yet, um, but we're gonna treat it like it's uh, something we might encounter. Yep, and there is the hail core right there. Let's just kind of punch through it as quick as we can. Try not to damage anything. And we're going to try to get to the west of this storm. This thing might be producing a tornado in a second. Let's make the right turn right here. We'll be out of the hail in just a second. Let's hang on to it. This is not good for the car at all. And it can damage the engine. So it's just one of those things we're doing to try to gamble to get in front of this storm. Getting out of the hail core right now, we're in Corwin and uh, it is low visibility just to the right. I mean, that's that hail core right there. You just couldn't see anything when we were driving through it. If this thing's gonna produce a tornado, it'll be on this road and it will pass just, well, pretty much towards us right here. And we have a tornado warning. So where is this thing gonna pop out at? It's gotta be for Corwin. It has to be, okay, here's the hail. Let's back up, back up, back up. It's moving a little bit southwest of us here now just east of our position right here we're gonna be in an interesting spot corwin's gonna get nailed all right let's see if we can get out of this hail just to the right here there we go right here let's see if we can see this thing now this thing is moving towards us so we, we got to be careful we can get hurt by that hail uh i cannot see the tornado look at the hail on this thing wow that milky color you see right there that's the hail and it goes all the way over there. So this is an impressive looking storm right now that we're keeping an eye on. And if there's a tornado, it's gonna be right behind this house right there. Yeah, tornado warning in our area. And there's another one that's gonna possibly drop just to our north here. You just can't see, whoa, hello. That was a lightning strike that just happened in that field. That was intense. All right, the tornado just to our right here. And we're going right back into some of the hail. Looks like it's kind of dying out. There's the moon right there in front of us, but the tornado would be right here. It's moving directly south of our position. So it's completely rain wrapped right now and might be hitting homes in Corwin. Just sit right here for a second. I have no eyes on it. I have no idea how big it is either. This is a dangerous situation we're in right now going just to the south of it. If there's a tornado right here, it's going to pass to the south of us. And with this much hail, it it's more than likely a strong tornado right near us here. Just can't see anything. I'm looking for power flashes. We're getting hail damage right here. I'm going to back up out of the hail core a little bit more. Boy, this thing is an HP supercell, high precipitation. Backing up, backing up. 
And we have damage to our vehicle right now and a tornado possibly behind us. Terrible position we're in right now. I don't know what to do besides we're gonna we're gonna get hurt here. We gotta turn the probe on. Activate the probe. Oh, we got power flashes. Power flashes. Tornado right here in front of us. And possibly one behind us too. There it is, it's passing just to the south of us. Wow. Look at that. And our car is absolutely stuck where it's at. Look at this. Perfect position though. We're getting probe data, we're getting pictures. <laughs> but it's just getting destroyed, man. Look at that. Three tornado warnings where we're at right now. Just hunker down. We've unlocked new menswear. We're at level 17. We just have to stay right here. Everything's moving to the south. Just a real dangerous situation. Two tornadoes, one stronger than the other one that's passing to the west of us. Just gonna ride it out right here, man. There's the tornado right in front of us. It just crossed into that southern field. And the other tornado right there where that lightning is, you can barely see it, but we're getting uh, some pictures of it. You can see the motion on the, on the upper uh, structure of the storm. That's pretty impressive looking. Get back inside. All right, the hail just passed. Our vehicle's quite damaged. And we have to two tornadoes, or three tornadoes actually, moving off to the south. What a storm that was, man. You can't see anything because the amount of hail that was in that storm. Look at that. Holy mo- Our vehicle is absolutely destroyed. Look at the hail damage there on the windshield, actually. All right, let's limp this thing back into town. I think that's what we're going to have to do uh, to, to get it fixed so we can chase again in the morning. Boy, I got to say, that was incredible. This new beta that came out is amazing, man. I've never had, like, the fear of having multiple tornadoes spawning the way that they did right in that position we were in. We knew we were going to get clobbered, and the radar was accurate. So that helped out a lot in that regard. But uh, man, what a dangerous situation that was. And uh, that whole town was spared. All right, so I'm gonna show you this. You just pull in here to the repair station here like we were doing, and we will repair this vehicle. See how expensive it's gonna be. The sun's about to come up here in this wonderful county of Wakoda we're in right now. Look at that. Now that looks like a pretty promising storm down there. That's got a good lowering to it. You see how that comes down like that and it's flat. That's what we like to see if we're, you know, trying to get stuff out of tornadoes. Let's go ahead and turn off our probe. We don't need that on right now. Um, and here we go. Let's see what the damage is. 189. And I don't have enough money for it. Well, we will in a second because I think we got some data we can sell. We got $394 and then we had $13 in probe data. So that's what I'm saying. It's a lot more difficult to get data off of a probe when you are mobile the way we are with this SUV. So... It's cool that we have two options when it comes to the play style. Now we have money. We can actually repair it for 189. And there you go. Everything gets uh, fixed. And even a new windshield in this thing. How about that? Let's see if that storm looks any better. Yeah, it looks still promising. Let's see what the storm motion's showing right now. Due south. Okay. Well, let's back out of here. And we'll, uh, we'll see if this storm right here produces a tornado to our south. That's the only storm that looks promising. That one right there. And yeah, it's still going off to the south. Still has a tornado attached to it, actually. So we might have to wait this one out for the afternoon to see if anything pops up uh, to our north. So as you can see, you don't get just absolutely bombarded by storms the whole time. There is a little bit of downtime between big major storms, which I really do like. So you get some breathing time and you can uh, upload your stuff and you can buy new things and repair your vehicle without missing out on the next big tornado. Another great thing is that, you know, with the uh, new beta update, uh, multiplayer is working, so I'll be able to do uh, different storm chasing lobbies on Twitch. If you haven't checked it out, twitch.tv slash jfabiano. I go live pretty much nightly through the week um, in the evening times. And uh, if you want to join in and do some chasing, I'll have public lobbies open over there. We have some promise with these storms just to the south of us here, um, but those ones that are moving through Corwin could do something. So we might actually push to the west and drop south. And just like we predicted, we have a tornado warning south of us right now, 
And that is the tornado coming down. Looks like Corwin might get hit again. And that's where I was headed. Because I was figuring that one was looking more promising than the other three behind it that we were kind of under watching. But this thing is tornado warned. We'll see if we can get some data off of it. I'm right, pushing into some uh, moderate precipitation right now as we head into Corwin. And uh, the tornado is just to the east of the town. It's not tornado warned with a box, but it is a tornado we saw visually on the ground, possibly, uh, just to our east. I'm going to go a little bit further to the south here, because if it's going to be in a storm, it's going to be in this one right here we're about to enter. So I don't have eyes on it because it is being occluded by all of the storm. Oh, there it is right there. We got it. Okay, it's way out there in the field, so not really much we can do about that. A tornado has roped out to the south, uh, but I'm keeping an eye on these three cells right here. This storm right here might do something, and the storm motion is going now to the southwest for the most part. We got a possible tornado warning now. Let's see where this is located at. It's going to be a northern storm towards Wakoda, it looks like, as of right now. We'll get a double check on that. If we have to, let's go north and try to get in the path of that one. So, west. Oh, it's in our area. It's going to be coming down right in front of us, actually. We might see this thing very soon. I just have no idea where it's at. No idea where it's at. Really hard to say. It could be right here. But, yeah, it's just above us. I've been here for a while just checking out the storm. I'm not seeing anything further right now. So storm motion is going east. So I think we're going to go on the north storm and try to get to that. It looks like it might go tornado warn soon. Tornado warning in our area. I don't have any eyes on a tornado on the ground. I've been looking around to see where it might be popping out of. It is going to be a storm behind us, and it is going directly to the, to the east. So maybe that's the better storm to uh, chase right now, the one that is kind of chasing us. But that one there I wanted to get on. It's not tornado warned. This one is. Oh, man. This thing is blowing up like crazy around us. Really hard to say what we can do here. Maybe we'll go after this one right here, though. And we have a tornado on the ground. I can see it right there. It's about to cross the road uh, just to our south here. We're going to make a left-hand turn and try to get just next to this thing as it crosses the road to get some probe data. Oh, my Lord. You can see it right there. I don't even have time to turn my... Whoa. Almost wrecked it. Dang SUV. All right, we have to get turn the uh, probe on. I should have turned it on earlier. Messing around too much. But there's that tornado right to our right. And it is moved a little bit here. And storm motion just to the east here. Let's back up a little bit more. It's going to cross the road right in front of us here. There we go. We're just going to stay right here in this intersection for now. And see what it does. It should cross right in front of us. So I don't want to get in a position where we don't have a uh, exit. You can see the tornado. It's a small little guy right now. Very small tornado. Pretty photogenic, actually. All right, it is going to cross the road. It's got a little bit of damage right there. A little bit of debris right there on the tree. That's cool. All right, let's get try to get this next to it. It's, it's a smaller tornado, EF0. And it's going directly to the east, a little south. So we'll get a little closer to it here. That's a little closer. I'm going to get that wind speed up. There we go, about right here. And it's damaging some of the trees. Not too bad, though. We can see the actual funnel right there as it's going to cross right in front of us. Not really getting a whole lot of probe data, are we? No, we are not. And it is gone just like that. We're going to get nailed by the uh, RFD. Just wait for it here as it crosses off to the east. And we can actually take our eastern option and get in front of it again. I'm just kind of sad we're not getting any probe data off of it. There's the RFD slamming into us right now. It's moving pretty fast, actually. So uh, we'll be able to get in front of it thanks to the SUV's speed. We're doing 70 miles an hour right now to try to get in front. And we're going to go drop down to the south and see if uh, we can intercept it. All right, storm motion has changed a little bit here. Now we're going northwest. So let me get back on this road and see if we can get uh, in front of this tornado. It's going to cross the road now to the northwest of its current position more northwest than west now so this thing is moving pretty rapidly but it's still a small ef0 tornado so not a lot as far as the uh, intensity of it goes but we're real close to it right now aren't we yes we are 
I don't even think it's powerful enough to take down a power line. To be perfectly honest with you. It's going to cross the road right here. We get right up next to this thing. Why aren't we getting any probe data off this thing? That's what I want to know. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, that looks so cool. Whoa. It's making a wild turn. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. What is this thing doing? Very unpredictable. I just don't want to get sucked up by it. I know you do, but I'm trying to uh, keep all my XP so I can actually progress in the game. We got the tornado in the last one anyway, so look at the vortice on that thing. That is impressive. Let's get a little closer. We're in the debris field. Hold the brake. We are in the tornado. We just had an intercept, and we got no probe day at all. It's throwing us around here. Good thing it's an EF-0. No! No, it's trying to pick us up. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, we are in the tornado. Did not mean to get that close to it. We're going to go over. We're going to roll it. Hang on to her. <laughs> oh, my God. And we are on our roof. We're not going to be able to roll this thing back over. Oh, my. Okay. Well, just kidding. Y'all wanted me to get in the tornado. We just did. Let's just kind of hunker down right now, even though we're upside down. It's tearing up trees over there, too. Just stay right here where we are. Wow. All right, it's pushing up a little bit more to the north. Let's get out. Wow, dude. I was not expecting that. I mean, it trashed our SUV. Look at that. Absolutely destroyed. Unbelievable, man. I got some visible debris. Nope, not really. So, yeah, it's still EF0, but this goes to show how light that thing is. I think the truck would have survived that a little bit better. And now it's, like, coming back around to the road here, so it's kind of hard to say what it's doing. This is nuts, dude. Let's get back in. It's destroying more stuff. Let's look at the laptop here. There's that storm there, and uh, it's now moving directly to the west now. Wow. What a mess that was. These trees are getting pulled up still, too. Yeah, that'll do it right there, won't it? Sure will. We chased until uh, we got in a dangerous situation there. Got too close to the tornado. And that's all that it took. Wow. All right, folks. Well, I think we're going to call this one here. What a uh, incredible turn of events that happened at the end of this chase. Another tornado right on top of us, by the way, forming. Nothing we can do. Just hang on to your socks yeah it's right on top of us as we're upside down still but uh, let me know what you thought of the beta below uh and be sure to opt into it if you own storm chasers uh you can check it out with the link and i'll see you guys next time take care